I will tell you, I actually think that when you get divorced, I think they give women an extra 50 points on their credit what? and take off s- 100 for men. Uh-oh. Because uh-oh, uh-oh. Danger, I, danger, danger, danger. <laughs> I don't know. Wait a minute. Me, uh-oh, I, uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Will... Hello, 811 crew, and we are back in the his house. Your boy, Jay Turner. And Ulysses Slugger Glenn. We're back in black. Sluggerific. We yeah, we back in black. Back in black and black and white. I like that. Black and white. Yeah, I like it. We even plan it. Well, you know, we are showing good sense in our coordination and we are gonna be talking about Oh, this is corny. I know that was a corny transition. But the name we think that the name we when we're thinking about this episode, we were like, this is called dollars and cents. Like S E N S E. Because it really makes sense and it is vital that you have a strong and serious financial plan when you get to be over 50. You know, yeah. when you're in your 20s, 30s, it seems like something you know you got to do it. When 40s, you're thinking, oh, sh- sh- all shucks. This is really getting like, whoa. Right. And then in 50s, you're like, okay, wait a minute now. we I'm supposed to be retiring in 20 years Several people, many of us, I ain't saying who us is, many of us are looking at our retirement accounts, we're looking at our 401ks, we're looking at our bank accounts, whatever we have, we're looking at our Cash App account, and we're saying- (laughs) Did you say Cash App account? We're saying we might be a little short. What, Uh, what? And that's a result of a lot of stress on a lot of people's minds these days, you know, and we and we're going to talk about what our poll get the results of our poll question. But financial stability, what are your thoughts on that slugger? Um, you know, I actually have some uh, some friends that were older. Uh, actually, lady, she hired me my first job out of college, worked worked for insurance company and I became friends with her and her husband. And I remember when I got married and even before I was married, I was always like, God, I'm broke. You know, you're, I wasn't broke, but you're just paycheck to paycheck. But I was always putting money away for retirement. And she said to me, she said, you know what? It's better to be broke now than to be broke when you're 60 and 70. Mm. So when you it's retire, and so I've always prepared, been prepared for retirement. So I have a 401, a 457. I have two whole life policies, wow. things like that. So, and the thing is, and you should do them when you're. This young. is just a suburban love story. <laughs> <laughs> but you have it's to do it. And, and what? But, you, but, but how I got the, one day we're gonna find out something wrong with this. But no, but my dad. But you know, but my dad's like that with insurance. Wow. I, I have. I'm always I overly it. insured, and so, it, and it's paid off. I mean, when I've I've. Even at you know work, I have short-term disability. I pay for it long-term. I was actually looking at my pay stub uh, a couple of days ago. And I was like, God, I have all this, but it's actually I've had to use it, like the short-term. And I'm like, and I remember this one um, older woman I used to work with. She didn't, and she made way more than I did. And she's like, Well, no, I need this money. So when I retire, I'm putting it in for retirement. Mm-hmm. And then she got sick. I was like, you already worked for the government. What, you know, and she had been there, so she was getting a pension. Right. So I was like, what are you doing? Like, you needed to do short term, you know. Well, you know what, but, that brings us back to, and it was something that Sydney, you were saying beforehand as well, right, is that um, it's awesome, like, especially as an entrepreneur, I always admire you, Ulysses, and you know, oh, the fact that you, have you know you you've been a government employee for 20 something years mm-hmm. and 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 you know you were able to accumulate all of the all those different uh letters and numbers and things of that <laughs> nature which is awesome you know and and it made me think about how much now when you get over 50 you so much appreciate like the notion of that good government job oh. Oh, the notion of being in the army, in the armed forces, oh, yeah. and now you've been in for twenty or thirty years, right, and now right. you're a, a, a staff sergeant or a lieutenant but, or but, but I look you at know that. police or fire department. Right. My my mom uh, couldn't believe that I don't have a pension. She was like, "You worked for that company for twenty five years." I'm like, wow. "Yeah, yeah, but you- and you don't have a pension." It's like. And then I started thinking about that recently because, you know, my brother has worked for the state his, almost his whole career. And he's mm. like, oh, I, I could retire next year. And I'm like, 
Really? Wow. Retire and get and actually have money, money coming, coming in? in for the rest or of the retire life. and like be on the streets cuz I mean if he started before 87 if you work for the government prior to 87 you have a pension. Oh yeah, so, he has a pension. Yeah, so yeah. September 30th of 1987 is when the government stopped doing the pension because they realized that the baby boomers were going to outlive the money. Right. So they were so we that's when 401s and 457s and so I always tell people, one thing you can do is you can get a whole life policy and get it, un- like when your kids are under 18, they don't have to take, uh, do the physical. So it's you- you're paying it and it's really your policy, but it's for them in case something happens. Mm-hmm. So I actually, I actually wound up doing, mm-hmm. I actually mm-hmm. did that. And mm-hmm. so when my son passed, I had a whole life policy. Mm-hmm with un, under him so mm-hmm. it was like so i had that i had that and then mm-hmm. i had my own and i just knew about insurance my undergrad was health administration mm-hmm. and planning mm-hmm. and they would talk about in classes we knew insurance things i mean excuse me insurance that pensions and things were going away mm-hmm. in college and that that our generation needed to start preparing and for some reason those are the things i actually listened to now let me tell you something there's also <laughs> something where the brother, can you tell the brother is an accountant? Right. Can you tell that he's a, I'm just sitting here listening I don't think to we you ever, thinking, gosh, I, I wish I had known did you we ever, I don't know if we ever discussed that that Slugger is a CPA. Okay, well, so yet, not yet, not but CPA now yet. we, now he right. might, now he's known about everything else, but now that we got to the money, this brother is excited. <laughs> Anybody has a question about an Excel spreadsheet, yeah, you know, this is your guy, okay? Now we are definitely. But, but you should, but uh, can I always tell people, because they get, you know, as we get older, people start getting short term. They mm-hmm. do, um, um, what is it in short? The short term, the, poli- the, the term term policies. Right. And the thing about term policies, after ten years, you've paid all this money, and then it's, there's nothing gone. else. Yeah. And thing about whole life. Now I remember I was thirty or thirty one when I got my policy. Mm-hmm. And I was in excellent shape, everything. So I thought I was going to get like you know qualify for the lowest amount. And the guy came back and he was like, no, you're at the next tier. He said, in order to be in the very first tier, you had to be like, wait, you know, wafer thin. Wow. Really? Yeah, you because I was heavier than I was now. Mm-hmm. But I worked out. I was in great health. But you, in, in, in whole life policies, I think I pay monthly like one eighty something a month. Back now, then, now, that back then that would have been a lot. It was. Now, yeah. but, and like just, one, when you were how old? I was thirty one, and it it was a lot. It was like, oh my god, this is killing me. Okay, and, I'm ready to have a. I, I mean. I love all this suburban conversation, okay? <laughs> you know, next you'll be talking, comparing if you, y'all have the same trust attorney lawyers or something. I was you know actually going mean? like to ask about the, when you got, if you have long-term. Uh, I, uh, you know, can I just, can, term, I, I, please I, can I, we bring this something back I, to, I mean, I what, this is why you don't, this is why accountants don't moderate the shows, okay? This <laughs> yeah, is, yeah, your brother right. is lost, in, you've <laughs> lost in space, you lost in column <laughs> F5. But, but if, I, I, if I could just bring this, can I just add something back here? I want to bring it back, I appreciate all of your preparations, your alphabets, and your numbers, and, 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 and your loyal dedication to the people of the District of Columbia, I, I definitely want to say thank, thank you. you. Thank I you. would like to have you all's thinking, and you know, for you know, other folks who might on on a, on our podcast who may not be as as well prepared, you know, as as you, um, you know, and perhaps you know, there are a lot of pressures out there, like you. The, having the type of planning and foresight that you have is absolutely commendable. Okay. And it shows early discipline that you had, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess what I'm asking is for someone now, you're you're looking at social media. You're seeing people living living their quote unquote best life. Right. You got your friends who are like, man, I'm trying to get the big boy crib. Right. You know, I mean, how do you right, how do you I mean, yes, I know you did, but I'm saying but how should one think about these things? You know, are these milestones important? How do they stack up in terms of getting your financial life in order, especially if we're over, over 50? 50. Right. If I was, first of all, if I was to do things again, the big boy house, I probably would never do again. Hmm. I think that was a waste of money. And I, remember, I tell you what, I liked pulling up in the driveway. Oh, though. Oh, I, mean, oh, I, oh, I, I, I loved really, it. I, I, I really in the dining room, I remember. Being, right. Yeah. I, I mean, it was both twelve of us, us in there sitting it, down. It, I mean, it was, like, both of us had huge homes, but 
it's money I think I could have just probably bought a more regular size home and put more money into my retirement. But I, my goal is to, I think my whole life policy, I think it's 62. Mm. So I have like 10 more years for, mm. and then, cause I started wow. it, I started it at Somehow 31. we're back to the whole life policy. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> you try to leave life. Twinsburg and then, yeah, but and then but, just, but you just, you just get funny, brought back. But being I'm sorry, fi- go ahead, being, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But being, whole finan- life. but being financially fit, you know, yes. you do look, you know, I look at myself now, I'm like, you know, when I was in my 30s, I thought when I was 50, I would have yeah. mm-hmm. millions of dollars in the mm-hmm. bank. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm not where I want to be, but I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. Right. And I think that's what, you know, I, I like you, like I said, I do have a lot of insurance. I'm overly insured. But there's things I wish I hadn't have spent money mm-hmm, on or mm-hmm. done right. that I, that you can't get back. Yeah. And, um, you know, one of the, you know, one of the habits I have, I do like to buy nice sneakers. Mm-hmm. So that is, so what I have done, I've kind of- You have I, an insurance policy no, for no. your shoes. Oh, well, I was no, gonna no. say, and shoes too, because you yeah, yeah, just she, told yeah. us the shoes you have yeah. on sale. How so, much cost. but what I do, I won't buy sne- like random sneakers. You know, some people are buying Adidas or Nikes every month. I won't. I will wait and save up, save up my money. I'll stop going out just so I'll have money to do these things. To move that move that money from one column to another kind of thing. Right. right. That's very that's So very I'm like, okay, like that. you like you won't see me going out to dinner if I'm thinking about buying s- some sneakers or some shoes. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. So, so we have to remember that if he's just like I'm not going, I'm not going. I'm like, oh, yeah. He's like, about like, to buy something. Like I'm in a, like right now I'm in a saving saving mode. I'm not really doing anything. You know, people I'm like, ah, this costs too much. No. Now, let me ask you this. Now, your credit score um, oh. you know, yeah, you know, credit score after credit, divorce, credit score, score after, after divorce, divorce. etc. Right? Like, you know, like how how should people look at their credit score? How long does it take to get back from that? I mean, shouldn't we all start with knowing what our credit score is? Yes, and I will tell you, I actually think that when you get divorced, I think they give women an extra fifty points on their credit what? and take off. S- a hundred for men uh-oh, because uh-oh, uh-oh. danger I, danger danger uh, i don't know wait a minute me, uh-oh, I, okay, uh-oh. okay Here we i go. was i was a single mom mm-hmm. and you know raised my kids financially everything by myself yeah women's credit i first of all women's credit i think gets better when they get divorced like i think they just give them 50 like you know what we're gonna go ahead and give you 50 points on your credit and for a dude we're just gonna just take a hundred off of yours literally you never hear women say oh my god i'm so broke after this divorce or i can't do this never never they will go back and forth women will go back to court a million no, times no <laughs> no 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 you beg to differ i beg i beg i mean women differ. i feel like are the you're, you're lumping everybody into one thing your your no, experience no no, no 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 actually my experience actually my divorce was great so i, I actually can't the person who names na- nameless that part's fine. I'm just talking about other people I know. Like I've never seen a man come out like, "Ooh, I came out." I came divorce. up on this. I, can't, I was coming. <laughs> I'm good. I, I, right. That, <laughs> you see, you, you, you see the chick. She got Louis Vuitton, red right. bottoms on. And I think that, but you know what? I think that that was because you know, men. I think came out of it better back in the day when it was the man who was plotting to leave. Mm-hmm. And he yeah. did the old notion of the dude leaving for his secretary or something like this, right, whatever. Right, right, right. And he's making the show. He leave or whatever. And but as we've discussed, most of the time now it's the woman oh, the who woman is, is like, planning, who is like, "I'm out." So women are planning their exit, yo, and, and got it they're, all covered. They're planning their retirements. They're like, well, "I have my retirement. You keep yours." Um, but I will say, getting back to the topic, you know, when you turn fifty, you do start looking more at your retirement. Like you know, I you know, I possibly had between. 10 and 20 years mm-hmm. left to work. Exactly. That's and what we're looking at. Like a 20 year, if you're in your 50s now, basically you got a 20 year window to, to make things up. And 20 yeah. years is a good amount of time if you start now, right? But th- yes. what are, what, so what are three things, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have the alphabet and the numbers, what are three things that you say someone could do right now to get their financial life on track? You should definitely get a insurance policy. There's a, there's one that's, 
it's a Are we back to this whole life that starts with whole life? No, no, no. But it's one that becomes, it's a term that can turn into a whole life. Okay. So you can do that. Okay. If you have a, if your job 401 has, has a 401 or 457, you should start, um, you should start increasing your contributions there. Things like that. Start saving on, you know, when you turn 50, you're not going out as much. Mm-hmm. You're not, you know, you're not, you, you shouldn't be popping bottles and stuff. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And, yet, like, and yet people, and yet people do. We're going to talk some more about uh, money and stress, dollars and cents when the 811 crew returns because we are definitely in Slugger Rivers wheelhouse. Right. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be right back. 811 crew, we are back and we are talking about dollars and cents. We're talking about whole life. We're talking about a lot. We, we've heard a lot of insurance, insurance terms. We've heard about a lot of letters, a lot of numbers. And we know that we've gotten some really good, serious advice and things from and, Slugger about what you can do to jumpstart things. And the other thing you can do is get a part time job, especially right. now. Part time jobs you can do Gig from work. home. Yeah, you can work. You can work from home. You can. Uber, you can do Lyft, you can do different things to subsidize your income yeah. so that you're ready because you don't want to be 70 punching a time clock. Yeah, but you know what? I will tell you that I can see where there is so much stress with this. Like, we are actually younger to have to be empty nesters, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, I had, like, I'm 53. When I think about it, you know, my parents were in their mid to late 40s when they became empty nesters. But yeah, so remind, now yeah. with millennials, et cetera, the kid, folks are having kids later. So, right. so, I, so you know, I had my first kid when I was 32. So now here I am 22, you know, 20 years later, 52, I'm pretty much done. But if you are, if you've just had a kid at like 37, then you right. are 50 and your kid still isn't in high school yet. Right. So, so the economic, and so, and not only that, but this, I just believe the stress and anxiety is real. Like, for instance, you know, uh, I was talking to a friend, and 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 he was telling me about something called Uber stress. Uber oh, stress. U- U- Uber stress. You know what Uber stress is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uber stress is the stress on parents when their kids want to Uber everywhere. There is no, the kids don't want to get on the subway or the metro or, or like a, we do. Or, or get a license. Or get a license. Driver's or license maybe, e- or get a job. That's right. Called but discipline. they want to get in the Uber and the parents feel pressure and compelled to pay Uber charges because Molly, Cindy, and Tanisha are getting an Uber. So now are you hopping in the Uber? Like, where does the Uber bill go? If you've got a kid in college, the Uber bill is a I'm major sorry, thing. Is there a... We used to drive our kids to get on the bus. Is now, no, no. 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 Uh-uh. This is. I definitely no. think this is a. This is a kids Uber these I, days. They Uber a lot. Yeah, no. that's a major cost that you didn't the, have to the, pay the back not, in the day. Well, I would not have paid it, and the, I did I'll, not pay I, I, it now. I'll, see, I, oh well, now I mean, but they, they, your kids. No, are no, wrong. no. But I, I wouldn't have paid it either because to me that again that's a way of life and but and you're they need 15, to, if you were on a they set. need to understand financially when they get older they are not going to have the money to pay for uber when the right. money's coming out of their pocket and they have a job right. they're right. going to be on the subway they're going to be every place that is not 19 dollars to get there but cost a dollar 50. so they so. need to so that is part of the discipline that we you know parents have to instill on their kids to not let them like I don't think kids should have cars. Mm-hmm. You know, my my father said if if you get straight A's in, in high school, you'll get a car. Yeah, no, I, I got I, a three point nine nine nine. Right, I graduated salutatorian of my high school. Really, no car, because he said oh. I always knew you were a know it all. I said a four point. <laughs> he said I said a four point oh. Like, right. seriously, right? But I I appreciated that, and when I first got my car, I paid for it. I paid the insurance. That's right. I understood the the money behind it. I you and know and that car was yours and it was mine and it raggedy as it was. That's the I same thing I, I've had too. I mean, they can, I always was told my parents told me the first car I had would be the one that I went and bought and I loved that car. The tag number was KBJ084. I I, I, <laughs> I, I do. I remember what? it, man. I love that vehicle, man. Definitely that which you labor for, you will love. And that which you love, you will labor for. Now that said, now I want to know about the poll question because the poll question is about the labor of being ready for retirement. 
Carmen, we, we had a good question there about what percentage of Carmen. our listeners, if you're over 50, talk to us about the over-under. Give us the over-under. No, over-under. You want the under first or the over? You you set it up, girl. You, you spit it. You go over-under, whichever you want. Okay. I uh, like that. Ooh, power. You got, <laughs> you got I'm sorry. the power. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have a little moment. All right. <laughs> 50 over financial security. 80% said yes, and 20% wow. said no. Okay. Mm, I'd be in that 20%. So, okay. Um, we are in, well, we see there's a lot of suburbanites in our audience. I, I was getting ready to say, this is very, a uh, lot of, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you gotta yeah. realize this is a government term. So most people who say uh, that. Uh, yes. You they know got what? that government wow. money. They, they got yeah. government money. job. They, they got, got that They picture. got alphabets and numbers <laughs> like you. Huh? I, already, like, I already knew what the answer I was like, this is a government, the, the few, even if you're a contractor, they have good, they have good Wow. Wow. You see, wow. Slugger we knew this. Up. This is why. We, <laughs> this is why we. But now that's the over giving the under. All right. Uh, 50, Preparation. Yeah, preparing for retirement under fifty. Twenty five percent said no, and seventy five percent said yes. yes. Wow. Yeah. So it's the same thing. Those are a, a few less are getting ready, but they're generally trending towards that. Especially if you work. For, if you work for the government, they stress it so much mm-hmm. like even in, in i mean they stress you first of all you're automatically enrolled in one of the plans the other plan um you you pay into it directly yourself so they stress i mean they have a, you know seminars things that people come down for ice cream socials um, different. I mean, to get people to make sure that they're signed up and that they're contributing. Hey, they ask you, when do you want to retire? So they, when you work for the government, it's if you don't have a retirement plan, a retirement, there's you just didn't do anything. That's because mm-hmm. they want to keep you in there. So they, yeah, they, they rope you in early, right, and right, they're right, like, uh-huh. I thought it was stay, ironic. Right, right. you, you stay in here. It's like because I will say, all my friends that like work for the government all these years hated it. I've always loved my job. Right, I've oh, always yeah. loved so it. So it's kind of like yeah. it's a, oh. right, it's a back and forth. I like you, Sydney. I'm in that twenty percent too, mm-hmm. and it is it's it's really scary. I'm proud of the fact that I've gotten a, a one kid almost through college, and we're. The 529s, et cetera, the college piece, that was I good. Set up, I actually set up the 529 plan. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, yeah. I did. So, so that's been very <laughs> good. And so, so getting the for kids. Treasury back then. Okay. Oh. And, and that, that's where you got your whole life. Okay. Yes. So, you know, that, so having gotten the kid, gotten my kids through in college and whatever, I feel very, very, very great about that accomplishment. Mm-hmm. And now, as an empty nester, though, I am fully aware of the fact that I'm not where I need to be in order to retire by 70. I mean, when you think about how I mean, like, just let's, I mean, just to scare folk, I, or I don't want to, I mean, scared loves oh, company. I got to say, I mean, numbers, I'm just saying, I mean, you got to think how much it would, if we are to stop at 70 and we're 70 mm-hmm. and it's say, I believe we're going to live to be a hundred. That means you would need 30 years yeah. of, of, of if you were to just be like I'm retired, that means you just need three million in cash just straight oh, out geez. in order to, be able to get, do that, right? I forgot how much I, mean, I have. I, 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 I forgot stuff. how. So mine, I think. It I pays. mean, you don't have to tell us that you're a millionaire too now. Say, yeah. no, 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 no. I mean, is that I'm where the story? Is that how it all ends? Hey, yo, I no. was about to be like, hey, <laughs> wow. slug. I'm gonna look at slug. How you doing, slug? Right, we got the, I like the screenplay the is coming. The street slugger, the screenplay is coming out. We ain't even gotta waste no money on the way. Wow, exactly. Yeah. 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 Right. That's why okay. they call me. That's I knew that. I knew that was your Rari. That's, that's, that's why they call me Zaddy. Oh, <laughs> but I, but I planned so that I didn't, I didn't want to work. You know, it's not that I won't work. Like I have a retirement plan. I'm going. I want to be a professor or like an adjunct professor when I get a certain age. I don't want to work. Like I can't see myself at 65 waking up at six o'clock, getting dressed to go to work. That's just not gonna happen. Right. Like I'm like. Well, no. that's good that you you've made plans to yeah. do that. That's that is that is really dope. I, I I just and so and I knew and I see my like my dad is 75. He says he, and he's never retiring. He's slowing down some things he used to do, but he was good with insurance. 
And even my, and my grandparents on my mom's side, I remember. We're back to insurance. Well, We're back to insurance. The <laughs> whole, the the whole the episode. The whole episode. And I have been right. The, the whole episode has been on but if you the whole life insurance. insurance. That's the, the whole and episode. Never, and I never even sold insurance, but I think it's a good thing, you know. But, but you know what? I will say this, though. Having a great example is, is key. You know, I will say for both, I'm very proud, both of my parents you know, own their houses, they're yeah. paid for, they have investments and all these other things. So, um, and they are very good stewards in terms of their investments and planning. So they have been very, very, very good examples, you know, for me, you know, so having someone to look at is good. All right, you know, there's certainly a lot more to talk about in this financial picture, et cetera, but we're gonna come back with next week's poll question. We come back from a break and then we're gonna wrap it up with this episode of the 811 Crew. We'll be right back. You don't need no May slugger. <laughs> 11 crew, we are back. Back. Jay Turner and Sluggerific. We talking about the money, dollars and cents, how we can put it together, how we can grow it more, how we can make it happen over 50 financially into retirement. But also, but one thing I do want to say is that there's never, you're never too old to start saving. Right. So Excellent point. So don't. You no, know, just because you know, I, I worked in finance at one point. My undergrad was in health administration and planning, so I knew a lot of things to do about insurance. You, there, you can, oh, you can be fifty five, fifty seven. They, they will show you what. They, there's different things for different age groups, and say, hey, if you know, if you're fifty five years old and you're just now thinking about your retirement, they will show you like, hey, you should do this, you should do that, you should get with a financial advisor. Um, there's things YouTube. You can YouTube has all type of things. They can tell you how to fix your credit um, for free. Yeah, YouTube will tell you a lot of things too. Yeah. And, and then I think another thing that's important too is to look for the resources around you, right? Yeah. If you like, have, I was gonna say, Ulysses, I'll, we'll be talking after. Right. The show. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, um, but at the same time, there's another resource that I think that folks can use. It doesn't require the internet. It does could require a phone, and that is a mentor. Um, if there's someone who you see in your family at your office, if if you work with Slugger, and and you you know <laughs> him him up at the Chipotle, no, you know no, but seriously though, you know find people who you see or who you believe are living that that you want to emulate and ask them, how are you doing this? Or can you show me? I really think that the folks, like you've been very open and very enthusiastic about sharing what has worked for you. Yeah. And my sense is that other folks would do that as well. Don't mm -hmm. you think? I do. And I, I, I think it, we also should be teaching our kids at a young age. Yes. You know, I, I'm a believer that finance and learning about the stock market should be a class in school that really oh, yeah. can help you when you, I had to look in a book when I bought my first house. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to be teaching kids young so that when they get to our age, it will yeah. just be and, and, like, one plus one. And one other thing is you you should have more than one bank account. Like you should, so if you are an industrial bank, you should also have an account at PNC mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just so that your money is. Oh, yeah. Why is that? Just so that your money, in case you, first of all, if you have, if you have a bad relationship with one of the banks and they put you a, a mark on, you can't get another account. So if at least if you have another account already, you're 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 in better shape. In better shape. Mm -hmm. Other thing is you should have a local bank and you should have a national bank. Okay. Because if you travel, I mean your local bank gives you a lot more. De they'll give you more deals. You know them. Credit union things like that. Like credit unions, you can get oh, yeah. insurance. Credit like, unions. Credit are unions great. are the best. They're the like a, having a credit union account. And then having a bank account is it's probably the optimum way to do optimum it. Optimum way to do it because you first of all, credit unions have, have totally different rates. They can do they make their decisions right there. They don't right, have to right. send something in. They can tell you right now. Okay. Like I had my credit unit, my car loan when I had one was like one percent because yeah. my credit, you know. Yeah, because yeah, right, because yeah. you got divorced and mm -hmm. they gave you mm -hmm. extra fifty oh points. <laughs> yeah, no, that's very good. And we, so we've gotten a lot of really good practical advice here. Really good time to start. It's. I think the important thing is it's never too late to start, never. right? It's never there are too late. some practical things that you can do right now to get yourself set up and get yourself going. 
And then for what you don't know, don't be afraid to ask, um, yes. you know, et cetera. So listen, for coming up shows, you know, we the past couple shows, you know, we we've been kind of deep there, you know, talking about the dollars and cents, and you know, we we talking, talking about talking about politics, politics, race. We yeah. talked about some kind of heavy topics. I feel like you know we we kind of got to lighten the like let's lighten like the mood a little bit, lighten and, the mood um, a little bit. And so I don't know if you all have noticed that we kind of make there's there's jokes we make that were between Jason and I and Sid and Sydney about shows that Jason hasn't seen, and which is. It's, po- it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. The shows. He's never seen Friends, Cheers. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Seinfeld. You are setting up. No, you are setting this up all wrong. <laughs> Allow me to say what the challenge, what this is. So, so listen, people. I I am a black man, apparently, obviously, right. but I have not seen The Office, Friends, or Seinfeld. Like I might have seen one or two episodes by walking through the mall. Like, or something of these shows, and I don't believe that I'm so the no only one. No soup for you. I, whatever no that means. I love soup. I love soup. No, no soup for you. See, but, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yada, 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 all yada. of this. I mean, what is all this? I don't Master feel like I missed anything. Yada, yada, yada. Listen, when we come back on A11 Crew, <laughs> what's this? You, Slugger <laughs> and company here. The crew is going to challenge me. Who am I doing? What? To look at some of this Americana. It looks like a bad. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a bad Twister commercial oh. from Generation when X. You, when you see, when you see that, when we're going to tell you. I don't yeah, know you what it, you all are doing. Oh, but you're going to think we did like the best imitation. Because you actually. It's if a, you do say so yourself. It's, a, you, it's a Seinfeld episode with Elaine. Okay, so what I'm going to need is actually the seasons, the episodes, etc. Okay. We'll find out if this is really must-see epic television. Oh, I'm, I'm open for it. I'm, okay. I'm here for it. We're going to find out on the next 811 crew we'll look at some pop television and see what's up but for now 811 crew wait wait, wait. Oh, no we have a we, we have oh, a we have question, a, we have a question. Oh, wait, oh wait a minute now so, see, wait, 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 wait. so the question is oh, okay have, what's the question is basically friends the show friends versus living single which which, which do you which friends do you like? versus living single living see that's single. why i didn't do the poll question because i haven't even seen <laughs> friends so i can't relate to have the poll question. Have you seen Whoosh, living, living, right on my, have you seen single? Living, living, living Just because you single. know the song, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Did you watch it with your eyes? Did you, so you never watched Living Singles? I, I did watch it because it's Erica Alexander. Uh, yep. uh, right? When right, she, right? She was the lead. No, and then no, what, Queen, what? No, 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 Queen Latifah, 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 but she was okay, in there. Okay, now I think you need to leave. No, I, no, seriously. Just <laughs> you because have completely. I, I, how, how am I in trouble Bye. for not being able to memorize the whole Bye, Black y'all. Chick show? Bye. Eight Eleven Crew, we, we are, are out. out. Thank you. Yada yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go pick your feet up though. Let's go pick your feet up though. 